Hello. <clears throat> I really didn't want to film today. <laughs> like I did, but I didn't. I got myself showered and, you know, makeup on and whatever, and I was like sitting there. It's like four something, so it's like late in the day. I'm like, God, I really don't want to. But like, I know I need to. But like, I don't need to. But like, I also need to. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm just, I don't, I don't know if it's like some days I get like these bursts of motivation and like energy. And then other days I just like, don't want to do anything. Plus I've been reading lately. Um, I've, I've picked up reading again and it's taking my attention off of like other things, not, like not like my kid. <laughs> Cause I know that that's going to get taken out of context, but like, you know, when I would spend time doing, you know, other stuff that's like not like TikTok, you know, like when I scroll TikTok, instead of scrolling TikTok at night now, I read and it's been nice. It's been nice picking up, you know, books again. Um, but that's not why you're here. <laughs> um, so I usually do a top five beauty heroes favorites video um, from discoveries from the year where I talk about my favorite ones, um, ones that I re -rebu would rebuy, ones that had an impact on me. Um, ones that I just generally loved over above all the others. Um, and usually I do all my favorites at the end of December, but December, um, as you noticed, I did not film anything. <laughs> um, I took like a break kind of. Um, so yeah, I'm doing all my favorites now. I already did my skincare and makeup favorites. I will link them down below in case you want to watch them. Um, I will also link below January, or no, Feb we're in February now. Like my brain has no concept of time anymore. Like something at work happened today where someone had asked me a question about something and I was looking at, um, I was looking at something. I'm trying not to give too many details away, but still tell the story in a way that makes sense. Um, I was looking at something and, uh, there was like an invoice generated, but, um, you know, the collection hadn't happened yet, but like some, somewhere in my brain, I thought it was like the middle of February already. So I'm thinking it's like, oh, it's February 14th, but this invoice was supposed to happen on the 4th why didn't it collect the money? So I'm like trying to figure it out. And then I, it dawned on me. I was like, oh, cause today is the fourth. Hello. It still hasn't collected yet. It will tonight. So <laughs> I have no concept of time anymore. Um, but I know we're already like four days into February, which means it's going to be over tomorrow and then it'll be March and then it'll be summer. And then this year will be over. January dragged on for me. Did it drag on for anybody else? January seemed to last like three whole months for me. We'll see how the, uh, you know, the next, few months goes. But yeah, like I was saying, um, February Beauty Heroes box is what I posted earlier this week. So if you want to watch that, I will leave that linked below as well. So um, to finish off this week, we'll just do a Beauty Heroes week. I'm going to talk about my five favorite um, Beauty Heroes discoveries of this year. Um, I don't remember which one of these was the hero, which was a sidekick. I don't even know that they really have, you know, heroes and sidekicks anymore. It's just sort of like the whole discovery because sometimes there's like three products in the box. Sometimes there's one, sometimes there's two. Um, so these are just discoveries from this year from beauty heroes. And these were the ones that were my favorites. So, um, I'm also not going to do it by like what month they were featured because I honestly don't remember. I wrote them down, but it's, you know, in another room and I just grabbed, I grabbed my five picks and, you know, came in here to sit down. So I'll link below my other top five picks from previous years as well. I think they go back to as far as 2016. I want to say, because I think I started officially working with them in 2015 and so then I think my first official top five video was from 2016. So that would make this my sixth edition, 2016, 17, 18, 19, 20, my seventh edition? Really? Oh no, no, 2021. <laughs> See, time, I don't even know what year I'm in anymore. <laughs> sixth edition. Okay, <laughs> moving on. Um, so the first thing that was a favorite from this year, um, that was a discovery from this year, though I discovered it last year, really, but it was in the box from this year, uh, was the Fit Glow Beauty Vita Rich Cream, which I have tried pretty much all of Fit Glow skincare at this point, almost. I think there's like a couple of things that I haven't tried yet, but for the most part, I've tried pretty much all of Fit Glow skincare. And honestly, I really love all of it. Um, you know, I think it all works really well with my skin. Uh, not so much 
well, I've tried the acne line, but not consistently enough to know whether or not it helps with acne. Um, but not so much that Fit Glow really helps with my acne, but it really helps with hydrating my skin, moisturizing my skin, um, helps with skin tone, skin texture, helps with brightening. Um, I really see some of the most incredible results in my skin when I use Fit Glow pretty consistently. Um, I can leave some Fit Glow reviews that I've done down below, and I've even, I think I, I had a review where I included this. It's been so long, I honestly don't remember, but I'm sure that I did, but I love this cream. It is just like such a nice cream. It has such a nice scent for me. I love the Fit Glow. I love this, the scent of all the Fit Glow products. I know that they're like a bit too much for some people, but they're like naturally scented. They're not, you know, essential. There's no essential oils in any of the Fit Glow products. It's strictly just like the ingredients of like the cloudberry and the whatever is in them you know, that makes them smell the way that they do. But I just, I love, I love the scent of them all. And this one is so hydrating. It works really well over the Vita, uh, what is it? Is it, the, it's the vitamin C serum, the Fit Glow Vita Active Serum, that's what it is. It's, you know, it works so well over the Vita Active Serum. My skin just loves it, you know, glows when I use it. So this is one of my favorite moisturizers. I haven't used it in a while, um, just because I've been trying to use up so much other stuff. Um, was I using this only at night or was I using this during the day as well? I don't know. I'll refer back to my, my Fit Glow skincare video and we can all find out together if I used it during the day and at night. But um, yeah, I love that one. It's, it was such a great product that was included in the, in the Fit Glow box. Um, that was January, actually. I do remember that one. And the Night Essence and the Night Serum were also included, which are also favorites. But um, I love that cream. It's such a great cream. Another feature from this year that I loved, and it was a previous love, um, this is the only other one that I had loved previous to it being a discovery, because I had tried it, you know, the year before. It's the Blue Alchemy Antioxidant Facial Oil, and I do have the old packaging. The new packaging doesn't do this, um, you know, the flaking anymore, but this is such a lovely facial oil. It's one of my favorites. Um, it's such, like, a rich color. It makes my skin feel and look great. It smells great as well. I love this scent of like, just raw oils. I'm pretty sure there's probably some essential oils in there, I can't remember, but I just, it smells so good. So this one has axisanthin to help with brightening as well, and then snowflower. Um, I love all of the Blue Alchemy skincare that I've tried, except for, the scrub. I mean, the scrub doesn't really do it for me, but all the rest of the, the products are great. The multi-C serum is amazing. The, the nighttime, the blue tansy retinol thing that they've got is also really great. Um, I love their cleansing oil. Um, their toning mist is one of my favorite toning mists of like all the toning mists. So beautiful. They have that night repair emulsion as well, which I do like, but I haven't used enough of because I think the month that I got that was the same month that I got the 12 Beauty um, Nocturnal Repair Emulsion. And I just, I like fell in love with that and I couldn't use anything else for like two months. <laughs> um, but the, the repair, the nocturnal thing, um, the night repair cream that they have is also really nice. I do like that. But yeah, I love the oil. Um, was definitely my favorite of one of the discoveries from this year because I discovered it previously and I really loved it, but it's just such a, just such a beautiful, just, just a beautiful formula. One that I need to finish up. I've been working really hard on finishing up oils. Um, currently I am trying to use up some Mahalo stuff. Um, fix my skin, because like my skin is a freaking disaster right now. Uh, I don't know how much you can see. Like I'm, I have breakouts like crazy right now. Like my forehead too. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Anyway, hoping I can fix it. Okay, another one that I really loved this year was the Lil Fox Acid Glow. Now this was a new release. This was not one that I had previously discovered, but this is the Moisture Surge Rapid Retexture Peel. And really, you give me anything with enzymes or acids or chemical exfoliation and like I'm gonna love it because that's like one of my favorite things to do is exfoliate my skin. <laughs> I love to enzymatically cleanse it. I love to do acid peels. I love to just exfoliate my skin. Even though I probably do it more than most people recommend. I've got pretty tough skin 
And I can tell when I'm doing too much and I back off, but that doesn't usually happen. My skin is pretty tough and I, I can take a lot. Though I don't, I mean, these days I don't do too much to it. I maybe physically exfoliate maybe two to three times a week and the same with chemically exfoliate. I'll chemically exfoliate on like the days where I don't physically exfoliate, so I don't do both. I don't try to physically exfoliate and then chemically exfoliate, that's a little too much. But like on the off days where I'm not showering, which is when I physically exfoliate, I will chemically exfoliate sometimes, not all the time. So maybe I'm exfoliating four to five times a week maybe in some, in some fashion, but this is one that I really, really liked because it's gentle. Was it intense? I don't remember, oh God, I'm gonna have to go back and like watch that video. I think the first time I used it, it was kind of intense because sometimes with new products and your skin is like not used to it, sometimes that can happen to me where I will feel like some kind of like tingling or heat or something. But then like when I use it, um, you know, after that, my skin sort of like gets used to it and is like, oh, I know what this is. But it still gives me the same results, but I don't get that like intense feeling that I got, you know, the first time. Um, like, like, like the Maya Chia, the blue mask that they've got, the, the other enzymatic mask, I forget what it's called, but I think the first time I used that one, I had a pretty like tingly reaction, but now every time I use it, uh, it doesn't really give me any kind of reaction, but it still makes my skin feel really, really soft. This is the same thing. Um, it works really well. It kind of is like on par with the Maya Chia refreshment, that's what it's called. Um, with that, I get like a really like intense exfoliation, but not so much that my skin is, you know, irritated or red, it just feels really smooth and really, just really amazing. I love this. But this also has like the combination or like the addition of um, hyaluronic acid. So it also imparts a lot of like hydration into my skin and smooths it and plumps it. I love that. One of my favorite um, exfoliating products for sure. Um, also talking about exfoliation, we've got the Arcana Lightwave Enzyme Cleansing Balm. I love a good cleansing moment and I especially love one with enzymes. I like, my instincts is I wanna smell this but I know it smells like nothing. <laughs> so it's just so unsatisfying to smell it and not have a scent. Um, I think what we all decided on in my comments of that video is that it was, it's not supposed to have a scent even though it was sort of described as having a scent, but it's not really supposed to have one. Very strange, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I want it to smell like something because it looks like it should, but it doesn't and it's a little weird for me. But I love this regardless because it does give me a nice enzymatic cleanse. It also cleanses my skin really nicely. I do still use a second cleanse after it, but it cleanses, I would say like 95% of everything that's on my face. And then whatever cleanser I use after that just sort of finishes it off. But this is beautiful. It makes my skin feel soft and it cleanses my skin. So, I mean, that's really all that it's meant to do and it does it well and I really enjoy it. Uh, I do like enzymatic cleansing products more than non-enzymatic cleansing products. If you're gonna give me, you know, two cleansing bombs side by side, one has enzymes, one, one doesn't, I will, even if the enzymatic cleansing balm for some reason doesn't have like a rinseability factor, which is very rare that you will ever find that. I don't think I have so far. Um, but if you give me two rinseable cleansing balms, one with enzymes, one without, I will go with the enzymatic one because I like that feeling on my skin. I like how soft my skin feels and smooth. Even, even you know, even breaking out with acne, it still leaves my skin feeling smooth even if, you know, I still have all this texture and nonsense. Nonsense. All right, so the last thing that I've got is a favorite that is a favorite is the Cuss Cuss Lemon Body Potion. I talked about this in my 2021 favorites, but it is oh, divine. I freaking love the way this smells. I love the way it feels. It smells like, oh, like just lemon, just like straight lemon custard. I'm gonna put some on my elbows because my elbows are actually kind of dry. Oh, I love it. I love it. I'm about out of my Nini Organic Siempre Viva that I've been working on finishing up, but as soon as I am done with that, I am picking this back up and I am slathering this stuff all over my body until it's gone. God, I love it. Oh, I've tried a few things from the Cuss Cuss line and honestly, a lot of it doesn't really impress me all that much. Like I don't, I'm using the, I use the D-Drop sometimes, but it's just like, it's just like a hydrating serum. It really doesn't you know, like give any wow factor really. It just sort of does what it's supposed to do. Um, I've tried some other stuff. I don't know if it's still available. Like some oils and like other creams and things that they've had in the past. And I just, I've never been really drawn to any of their products or really felt like they amazed me in some way or really felt like 
they really spoke to me in any kind of way except this product. This is this is the only product so far from them that I've tried that has really like knocked my socks off. But that might just also be because I love lemon <laughs> and it smells like dessert to me and I wanna eat it. That might, I mean like that's sometimes all it is for me is like the scent of something, you know, it connects me to it in a way that if you give me that body potion unscented, would I love it as much? Probably not. Um, but I just, like, the scent of it just drives me crazy. Like, I want that as, like, a perfume. Lemon perfume. Oh, I need to find something like that. I wonder if there's any lemon perfumes out there. That would be nice. But anyway, um, I didn't want to make this too long because, really, I don't have a ton to say. Um, I just wanted to, sh to quickly show you five of the products that really left, like, an impact on me this year, the ones that I really fell in love with, um, ones that I will use you know, long-term ones that I would happily rebuy because I felt like they make such a difference in my skin or the scent of them just drives me crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what I've got for this video. Let me know what your top products were from the Beauty Heroes Discoveries from last year. I'd really love to know what your favorites were. Um, I honestly can't remember how many like extra boxes there were last year. I feel like probably not very many. So I didn't include those in sort of my, um, my thinking of, you know, what my favorites were. I, I strictly stuck to like the monthly boxes because um, that's sort of what I keep track of. I really don't keep track of like the extras so much, but um, yeah, I'm excited about this year. What have we seen so far this year? Let's see, can I remember what January was? Oh, it was Iuna, that's right. Iuna Terra Viva and then we saw Earthwise Beauty this year. So I'm excited to see what the rest of this year brings. Um, I'm excited to see what brands we're going to discover, what new products we're going to get. I'm going to say let's cool it on the moisturizing products, though, because someone did point out that in December there was a bomb, which I totally forgot about. And then in January we had the Iuna moisturizer, and then we got another bomb again in February. So I'm hoping for some, like, masks or toners or other serums, you know, in the coming months and not so much... No more creams and bombs for a little while. <laughs> Let's all collectively hope that that's what's coming. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.